Well, hello and good morning <laughs> to this uh, English lesson about trademarks, brand names, and logos. If you're wondering why I was hiding behind the paper, hopefully you saw that. Um, that's how I used to start all of my <laughs> lessons on YouTube. I used to hide behind the paper and Deke Shanch was asking if I could do that this morning. Um, so way back when, <laughs> in the olden days, <laughs> Like a year ago, I would hide behind the paper and then I would jump out and say good morning. But uh, just once again, good morning and welcome brand names to this English lesson. Um, this, I think this lesson was suggested by a few of you. Uh, it was suggested by Daniel in particular. Um, and it was kind of a fun lesson to make. You can see that I have the trademark or logo from BMW right here. Um, what I'm going to do this morning uh, is I will bring the piece of paper down and I'll kind of show you the trademark and then you can guess in the chat, <clears throat> excuse me, what you think it is. Um, I will hold it there for a little bit um, and we'll see who's the fastest at recognizing uh, some of these worldwide brands. <laughs> I have to admit, many of these brands are luxury brands. They are brands for items that really wealthy people buy. I don't think I own or use hardly any of the brands that are on this list. Um, but anyways, I'm Bob the Canadian. Welcome to this lesson on trademarks, brand names, and logos. Uh, before we get started, a few things. Please use the chat uh, for English conversations between each other. Please use the link uh, to, uh, to uh, get to the form to ask questions. I do wanna say hi to Sam and Vitaly and Panthera Nori and Jiriev and Lolly Lolly. Uh, and all of the other members who are here, as well as all of the regulars like Gaga and Deke Shanch, uh, had a good conversation via email with Deke Shanch last night. It was good to connect uh, and to uh, just touch base with those who have been members and v regular viewers for so long. So uh, awesome. Uh, what else do I normally say? Uh, we should just get started, shouldn't we? Oh yes, if you have questions, use the form. I'll stop from time to time. Uh, and I will answer them. But this, here is how this will work. I hope this works. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, that was not very nice. Let me have a sip of water. So either the paper is two-sided or it has, oh, let's just get started, enough explaining. So here's the first logo or trademark. Uh, if you think you know what this is, you can guess. I think it's a pretty easy one uh, because it's not as blurry as it was supposed to be. So if you know what company this is, please guess and then I will flip it over in three, two, one. Here we go. This is the company called FedEx. So I'm pretty sure this is an American company that does deliveries. Uh, so FedEx, uh, this is their trademark or logo. Um, it's short for Federal Express. Uh, and this is a company, I think Daniel got it. Nope, Vitaly got it. I think Vitaly got it right, we'll see. Um, I'm pretty sure they are a worldwide delivery company. Uh, in English, we say things like, if you want to ship something somewhere, uh, if you want to send something somewhere, you would use a company like FedEx. If you wanna send a letter, you would just send it via the mail. But if you want to send a package or parcel, you would send it via FedEx. Um, so that's how this works. Is that gonna work for you guys? Should we do the next one? Uh, let me just go here as the next one's coming down. Hopefully I blurred it out more. I don't think I made these blurry enough, uh, but I'll count to three two, one. I guess I'm not really counting to three. I'm counting down from three. Uh, let me clear my throat for a sec. <clears throat> uh, and then I'll flip this one. This is a Visa. So Visa um, is a credit card company. So if you have a Visa card, um, let me see here. Did anybody get it? Olge has it. I'm not sure if someone above got that. Vitaly got it. Yes, look at that. You guys are very familiar with Visa. So Visa is a credit card company. If you get a card from this company, uh, you can use it to buy things, um, but then later you have to pay the money back. So this is Visa. Um, it is a worldwide uh, Visa, or sorry, credit card company. Uh, when you go to a store, they'll say, do you wanna pay uh, 
using a credit card. Sometimes they'll even say, do you want to pay using Visa? Because it's a very common uh, name. So we had FedEx, we had Visa. Here's the next one. This one's not blurry because it does not have the name of the company in it. So I'll just slowly bring it down. Oh, it's kind of related to the last one, isn't it? So three, two, one. So this is MasterCard. So MasterCard is uh, kind of the competitor of Visa. They are also a credit card company. Um, they specialize in giving you a credit card, uh, which is basically a loan, a card that you can use to buy things where whenever you buy it, it gets <laughs> charged to your credit card. So Vitaly, I think got that one right, MasterCard, uh, another credit card company. Um, I was going to do something here. Oh, I was going to check. There are questions today and I will stop. I think every five logos I will stop. Uh, but I did want to explain the difference between a trademark, a brand name and a logo because we kind of use them a little bit interchangeably. Um, so a trait, a logo. So this is the logo of MasterCard. Once they legally register this symbol with a government organization, it's also a trademark, okay? So a logo and a trademark are very similar. The logo is the image that represents the company. The trademark is when the company legally owns that symbol. And then a brand name is the name of the company. So you might wear Levi's jeans. That's a brand name jean. So there you go. Uh, here comes the next one uh, from the top. I don't want to put this one too low. It's a little bit blurry and there it is coming down. You can kind of see the words on the top. Three, two, one, take your guess and I will flip it. This is BMW. So again, I said that many of these are luxury brands. Um, BMW manufactures cars. It is a German company. I hope I got that right. I'm not a big car guy. Um, it stands, I think, for Bavarian Motor Works, um, but I think there's a German name that's a lot closer. Uh, I think Vitaly is winning right now. I'm not keeping score, uh, but he's certainly doing really well. Uh, BMW, German car manufacturer, they make um, what we would call luxury cars. Um, although they do have moderately priced cars as well, but uh, certainly people like me do not go out necessarily and buy BMWs, okay? So BMW is our next one. Uh, I'm just gonna check, I was gonna do five and then answer questions, so let me get the next one here. Oh, I'm knocking stuff off my table. Uh, here it comes, here's the next one. I hope it's blurry enough. So three, two, one. So by the way, these are all very, very random. I tried to shuffle the deck. So that was the company called Subway. So I'm not sure how worldwide um, Subway is, um, but there are certainly Subway restaurants in every town in Canada. And I think there are Subways in a lot of places around the world. I think Olga got this one, Subway, and then Vitaly got second, uh, and then Tuvaka got it as well. Um, so a submarine sandwich, if you look up submarine sandwich on Google Images, it's basically a long piece of bread, a bun we call it, and then cut in half with meat and vegetables on it. So Subway is a restaurant that specializes in uh, submarine sandwiches. We just call them subs. That's why it's called Subway, by the way. So a Subway is like the thing that goes under the city, but it's also a place where you can get a sub sandwich. So there you go. By the way, these won't all just be American and European countries. Uh, I try companies. I tried to find companies from around, around the world. Um, I did not find a Russian company though, and I, I know of one and I should have, so I apologize in advance. But let's jump over and just do a few questions. Um, oh, and that's what Vitaly's first question is. So sorry, Vitaly. Uh, Vitaly says, hello, teacher Bob. How's it going there? It's going good. Uh, it's actually warming up a bit outside, so that's awesome. Uh, since we're talking about brands, uh, what Russian ones do you know? What's your favorite bleach brand? Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't buy the bleach. Jen buys the bleach, and I think we just buy whatever's cheapest. Uh, but sorry, I don't think I have any Russian brands in the list. 
uh, I need to apologize for that. So, uh, and I'm not super familiar with Russian brands. So Ying has the next question. Ying says, Band-Aid is a brand name, but people also use them to talk about bandages in everyday life. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not very nice for me to clear my throat, is it? Um, I don't buy the bleach, Jen. So let me see here. Could you please give us more examples? The only other example I know is the brand Kleenex. Um, so it's a facial tissue that you use to blow your nose and it's made by a company called Kleenex. So in Canada, we call Kleenexes Kleenexes or, or facial tissues Kleenexes. Um, just a sec, let me just check something here. Um, just want to make sure everybody's in the house. I'm pretty sure Todd's here, right? Did he say hello earlier? Yes, he did. Good. I hadn't checked in with Todd this morning yet. So uh, next question. Next question is from Valera Skiba. Good morning, Bob. Which brand of car do you drive? What is the most well-known Canadian trademark or brand in the world? I don't know if Canada has a well-known trademark. We do have a clothing company called Roots. Uh, and the kind of car I drive is a Chevrolet, and I also have a Dodge. So those are the two that I drive. Um, let's see here. Sahil says, what brands were distinguished in childhood and then disappeared? Um, I saw um, Learn English with this guy mentioned Pampers. Those are diapers. Uh, when our kids were young, we bought Pampers. Uh, and uh, what other brand? I'm sure there's some toy brands, but I don't want to mention them because it might be coming up in a moment. Okay, let's get back to this. This one might be a little tougher for you because it might not be a company that you use, but I'm wondering if we have some viewers who are using a VPN to come in from another country uh, where YouTube isn't always accessible. So I'll go three, two, one on this one. We'll see if anyone guesses it, and then I'll just scroll down. So um, this is the company Alibaba. Um, so that's how we would pronounce it as English speakers. We would call it Alibaba. Um, this is a large Chinese company that specializes in many, many things. Um, you can buy goods or products from them. They specialize in technology. Um, I think Rice Panda got it, uh, Alibaba. Good stuff. And then Azos got it as well. Very good. So I'm not sure if you got it before I showed you the name. <laughs> it's tricky because there's a delay. But this is a large Chinese company, one of the biggest companies in the world. Um, and they are um, uh, doing a lot of business around the world, not just in China. <clears throat> okay. So this next one has a couple different pronunciations. Um, I'll show you the trademark first. Uh, and then I'll give you a few seconds to guess it. Three, two, one. So this is pronounced differently uh, in different parts of the world. Technically, in North America, we mispronounce it because we say Adidas. The proper pronunciation, as far as I understand, is Adidas. But in North America, if you buy shoes, or athletic clothing from this company, we say Adidas. We totally, whoa, I think everyone knows this one. Look at in the chat. Um, I think, Kaza, no, I think, whoa. Vitaly got it, I think. I'm pretty sure Vitaly got it. So again, um, I apologize on behalf of all North Americans because we usually say Adidas. Like, hey, those are nice Adidas shoes you have. Um, but it should be, my understanding uh, that this is a German company and it should be Adidas. So there you go. Uh, I think that's the one that most of you guessed correctly. Um, and then this one has a long form and it has a short form. So let me get this one on the screen. Hopefully you can see that and I'll go three, two, one. So this is an American car company. Uh, this is a company called Chevrolet. Um, this could be a hard word to pronounce for English speakers because um, you want to say the T, but you don't say it. So it's Chevrolet. Um, so this is the symbol for Chevrolet. Uh, one of the vehicles I drive is a Chevrolet. The short form for it, so Daniel got this one, I think. Yes, Daniel got this one. Uh, the short form for this one is Chevy, okay? So uh, we would say that uh, I have a van, it is a Chevy van. That would be how I would say it. Um, here's the next one. We're going to another part of the world. Again, 
trying to, you know, a lot of the big brands are American. Um, I think uh, possibly because I live in Canada and those are the ones I'm most familiar with, but I tried to research as many worldwide brands as I could. So here we have another one uh, that's not American. Uh, and I will flip it in three, two, one. Here we go. So this is the company called Tencent. Uh, this is a large Chinese company that specializes in technology and video games and entertainment now. I think they actually produce films. Um, but Tencent is a large uh, technology, internet, and entertainment company uh, in China. So did anybody get Tencent? Let's see in a minute. Um, the chat's always a little behind on my screen, so it's hard to, uh, it's hard to see. Um, no idea. <laughs> so you will, uh, you'll probably become more and more aware of that company. Uh, oh, Jim. Looks like Jim Kenny got it, I think. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, let's do one more and then I will take some questions. So this is um, interesting. This symbol or this logo is a shield. So when you think about olden days, this is a shield. I'll give you three seconds, three, two, one to guess this one. This is UPS. So that's how you say it in English, UPS. It is the United Parcel Service. It is a large American company um, and it does deliveries all over the world. It is one of the competitors uh, of FedEx. I think Vitaly got this one. Vitaly and then Olge. Uh, I should have asked Dave and Todd to keep score, but I forgot to talk to him about it. So um, UPS is a large company that does deliveries all over the world. Let me jump to the questions. Um, Deke Shanch, next question, says, which one do you prefer, iOS or Android? So iOS is made by Apple, Android is made by Google and Samsung and all the other brands. My phone is an Android phone. This computer I'm using here is an Apple computer. That computer is uh, an Intel computer. So I kind of have a little bit of everything, <clears throat> but I don't have uh, an Apple phone. I don't have an iOS phone. Uh, next question <clears throat> is from Chico. Chico says, hi, Bob. Do you know about any former USSR, Ukrainian, or Russian trademarks or brands except Tractor, the Tractor Bel Belarus or Belarus? I know it sounds funny, but I mentioned in an earlier live stream when I was a kid, there was a tractor called a Belarus and it was from Belarus, but we called it a Belarus tractor. Um, I'm not super familiar with a lot of Russian or Ukrainian brands. Sorry about that. I will definitely do some research after this live stream uh, about it. Um, Park from Beijing says, I know a Canadian brand of down cloth named Goose. That's very expensive, right? Yeah, I think it's Canada Goose. Canada Goose um, coats. <clears throat> they make a lot of winter gear. Definitely that is a Canadian brand. Probably more famous in the warmer parts of the world, for sure. Probably not well known uh, in the uh, in the colder parts of the world. Eugene from Etobicoke. Good morning, Bob. How can we register trademarks and get the circle in Canada? I don't know, actually. Um, but what Eugene is asking there is if you create a brand, how do you register that brand so that it is a trademark? Um, I don't know. You would need to do a little bit of research um, in order to figure that out. Next question from Gregory, and then we'll get back to, <clears throat> we'll get back to, my voice is annoying me this morning, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not sick and I don't have a sore throat. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's just not very nice. I should mute, I don't know how to mute when I do that, but that helped a lot. Let me do one more question. Uh, let's see here. Another question about from Olge. Hi, Teacher Bob. How do you register a trademark in Canada from overseas? What are the steps? I don't know. That's pretty technical. You would want to get a lawyer. And uh, Jingjin, thank you very much for the super chat. That's awesome. So this next one uh, is another one that we mispronounce sometimes in North America. There are two pronunciations of this. You would think that because the company... Uh, knows how to pronounce their own name, the whole world would pronounce it correctly. Uh, but three, two, one, let's flip it. So this is Porsche. 
or in North America, some people just say Porsche. So it is a car manufacturer from Germany. Um, and <laughs> you would think that everyone, I think Vitaly got it. You would think that everyone would know how to pronounce it. You would think that the company would just say, this is how you say this, but it's Porsche. In North America, people often say Porsche. So they'll say, oh, that's a nice new Porsche that you're driving. Oh, did you hear that Joe's dad bought a Porsche? Um, so again, I'm sorry, uh, a, a much like Adidas or Adidas, we say Porsche instead of Porsche. But in most parts of the world, I think they say Porsche. Um, I don't own a Porsche. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> it's a little pricey, a little too pricey for me. This is a relatively new company, like maybe 20 years old, um, that exists all over the world. Uh, I'll give you a little hint. Um, it's another American company. I don't know how much of a hit that is, uh, but three, two, one. This is, of course, Starbucks. So this is a coffee shop um, that you can go to if you want to buy a cup of coffee or maybe buy a small snack. Um, let me see who got this one. I think Deekshanch got this one. Uh, yep, yeah, for sure. Vitaly, I think you got third that time, so you need to get a little faster. This is Starbucks. So this is a large American company that uh, has gone worldwide in the last decade or more. Um, most countries have a Starbucks in their capital city, if not more Starbucks uh, in other places. I think this was almost as well guessed as Adidas was, so really good. Anyways, Starbucks. I don't usually go to Starbucks. I go to Tim Hortons. So if you're asking about a Canadian brand that's well recognized, Tim Hortons would be one that's well recognized. Here's the next one. Again, uh, I'm jumping. I shuffled so that there's no particular order here. So three, two, one. This is Netflix. So you might not be familiar with Netflix, depending on where you live. Um, but Netflix is an online streaming service where you pay a certain amount of money per month. Uh, and then you can watch an unlimited amount of television and movies that are available. Uh, so let's see who got this one. I think Deekshanch got this one. Yes, I'm pretty sure he got it. By the way, if I call it out wrong, if you actually got it right, um, then uh, sorry about that because the chat does go by pretty quickly. But I think most people got this one because uh, when you are stuck at home, if you have Netflix, you probably watch a lot of Netflix for sure. Uh, jumping over into, uh, hopefully I didn't flip that one so you could see it. Uh, I, oh, I think you could read this one through the paper actually. I should cover that up. <laughs> um, so I took the word out of the middle of this one. So three, two, one. We're jumping into the technology world here. So this is Intel. Uh, so Intel makes computer chips. They make CPUs for computers as well as other chips. So a chip is a, uh, an electronic device. If you open that computer, it has a CPU. If you open up a laptop, it has a CPU. Uh, let's see who got this one. I think Deekshanch Got it. Deekshanch is, I think, getting close to being in the lead. Although Vitaly had a pretty good lead. I don't actually know who's in the lead, but. <laughs> so Intel manufactures CPUs or computer processing units or central processing units. Sorry, I think I got that wrong. So if we did not have this company, um, we would not be having a live stream this morning. <clears throat> so um, I know I've been showing you companies from Europe and the United States and a few from China and most of the European ones have been German, but this one is not German. That's your first hint. Um, and I'll just show you this foggy picture of it and you can get, uh, take three seconds to guess which one this is. Hopefully you can figure it out. Three, two, one, and I'll flip it. So this is L'Oreal. That's how we say it in English. I'm sure that's somewhat close to the proper French pronunciation, uh, but L'Oreal is a French company from France that creates makeup and other beauty and self-care products. So L'Oreal, shout out to all my uh, viewers from France. Uh, L'Oreal is a huge brand name around the world. Uh, let's see if anybody guessed it. People are saying, hmm, no idea. No idea. Hi, Bob. <laughs> um, nope. I don't think anybody got this one. Makeup. 
L'Oreal. So somebody got it. I think Kim got it. Yes, there we go. So L'Oreal, big company. Uh, Bob the Canadian doesn't use any products from L'Oreal. Uh, not really at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do a few questions quick. Hachi says, I want to, I want a car of BMW. Is this a correct sentence? No, you would say, I want to buy a BMW or I want to buy a car. If I buy one, it'll be a BMW. That would be the best way to say that. Let me clean up the questions. There's less questions today, by the way. I think because, um, I think because people would rather just guess at the at the logos and trademarks. Uh, Ansi says, have you had food? What is the answer? I have not. I, yes, if someone said, hey, have you eaten today? You would either say, yes, I've eaten, or no, I haven't eaten yet today. That's how you would say it, by the way. Like, hey, like if you met someone at 10 a.m., you would say, hey, have you eaten yet today? Uh, and you would say yes or no. Next question from Luke. Hello, Bob. I'm Luke from South Korea. How are you holding up? Pretty good. Uh, when you buy coffee, which one do you like to buy? Tim Horton or Starbucks? I actually buy McDonald's coffee. Okay. Um, so McDonald's might be coming up. That logo might be coming up later. Um, but I like the coffee from McDonald's. So I buy it from the grocery store and I make it at home myself. Uh, next question is from Harry. Let's flip that on. Harry says, hello, Bob. I think you and your family are fine. Have you heard about our Malagasy prevention and treatment of coronavirus? Called No, I have not heard of that. I hope if it is successful, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Next question from Frank. Hi, Bob. Which is more popular in Canada between Nike and Adidas? See, I just say it wrong all the time. I don't know which is more popular. I would have to do some research, but uh, we will see. Um, but that being said, here is the next one. <laughs> it's kind of a giveaway now. Uh, it's kind of funny that the question was about this, but uh, the next one, three, two, one. So this is Nike. So Nike is a large shoe and athletic gear manufacturer. Um, so they make athletic shoes. Uh, I think I have one pair of Nikes. My son uh, has a couple pairs of Nikes. So you notice how we just use the word Nike. We use the name of the company to talk about the product as well. Deek Shanch got that one. Daniel got second. Vitaly got third. So we have Nike. Huge brand worldwide. It looks like the chat just gets lit up with um, people saying uh, Nike. Um, just give me one sec here. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I just wanted to walk away from the camera to clear my throat. Um, here's the next one. Um, I actually forgot to look up what company this is from, but I think this is going to be a hard one. I don't know. Maybe not. It depends on whether you had these when you were a child. That would be... So go three, two, one. So this is a company called Lego. So Lego is a toy manufacturing company. They make small bricks that you can put together to build things. I'm pretty sure it is from Denmark. Deke Shanch got it. So let me just do a double check. I'm pretty sure it's from Denmark, but I have to try to make sure. Yes, so Lego is from Denmark. Um, you can buy these around the world. It is a very cool toy. Um, if you were to ask me what my favorite toy was when I was a kid, I would say Lego. Lego was definitely uh, my favorite toy. I built all kinds of things out of Lego when I was a kid. Here's another company that some of you might recognize, which has become a huge manufacturer of phones and other electronics lately. So three, two, one. So this is a large Chinese company called Huawei. So I apologize to my Chinese friends if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but that's how we pronounce it in Canada. We say Huawei. I think Ahmed got it. Let me see here. Yes, Ahmed got that one for sure. So we say Huawei. There's a good chance that the phone that you use is made by Huawei. Um, in my house, we have a few phones. I think there are one or two phones that are made by Huawei. So very large phone manufacturing company, very large technology company uh, from China. Notice how I'm jumping all over the world. I do want to apologize that if your country has a really cool brand or trademark, um, 
I, I might have forgot to put it in the pile, okay? So just, uh, just relax. Um, maybe I'll do another one someday. Here's the next one, and then we're going to do something a little different. I think you can see it <laughs> if you could read backwards. So uh, here's the logo or trademark for this company, three, two, one, and I'll flip it. This is Lamborghini. This is an Italian car manufacturer that makes sports cars. Um, so I will never own a Lamborghini. I don't have, in English we say I don't have that kind of money. Okay, so I don't have the money, nor would I buy one because it's a little too luxurious for me. So Lamborghini makes really fast cars. Hassan got that one. Um, it is an Italian company. Um, and in English, we sometimes just call it a Lambo. So did you see that Lambo? Um, sometimes when I'm driving down the highway, I will see a Lamborghini go by and we will call it a Lambo. Hey, we're gonna flip two. I know some of you, this is not gonna be very nice, um, but in a moment, we're gonna flip to uh, members only and the members can play for about 10 minutes. Um, I have quite a few of these yet. So here's the next one. I think you could actually see this one. I don't think I made it blurry enough. So three, two, one. This is Volkswagen, or I think I'm supposed to say Volkswagen, but in English, we usually just say Volkswagen. It's a very Englishified pronunciation of it, right? Um, so Volkswagen is a German car manufacturer. There's a lot of German car manufacturers, isn't there? Um, and I'm sorry that so many of these are uh, logos of car manufacturers. So. Let's see who got this one. Uh, Vitali says Volkswagen, yes. You know, Deke Shanch, that was a good guess, WordPress. Um, it's very close to this symbol, isn't it? WordPress is a blue circle, I think, with a W in it. So uh, that's the first one you got wrong, Deke Shanch. But Volkswagen, big German car manufacturer. So hey folks, just give me a sec here. Um, I just wanna thank everyone who is a member. And one of the ways I do thank them is by turning the chat to members only. So we're gonna let the members play right now for the next five and we'll see um, which member is the best at guessing. And I have a funny feeling that uh, Vitaly and Daniel might, uh, might do well in this round. So here's the next five members only. Um, here is the symbol. So three, two, one. So we have not been to this part of the world yet, but this is uh, Hyundai, okay? Some people pronounce this wrong. My understanding is that the pronunciation is Hyundai. This is a South Korean car manufacturer. So hello to all of my viewers in South Korea. Uh, but this is a car manufacturer uh, in South Korea. Um, I have not personally owned a Hyundai, but there are a lot of people in Canada that drive uh, Hyundai vehicles. So it looks like, Let's see here, uh, Olge got that one, Vitaly got second, but Hyundai, uh, South Korean car manufacturer. Sometimes I get this one wrong because it's from a country that starts with S and sometimes I say the wrong one. So we'll go three, two, one, and then I'll flip it. This is a company called Ikea. So Ikea is a large Swedish um, furniture store. There is a uh, there is an Ikea store close to me, about 45 minutes north, there is an Ikea store. And you can go there and buy furniture, but you have to put the furniture together yourself. So it looks like R. Kim got that one. Good job, R. Kim. Um, so I'm not sure how popular this is worldwide. I do know that there are Ikeas all over North America and Europe um, and other parts of the world. Thanks for the sticker, Marflo. Very, very uh, nice of you. Thank you very much for that. So Ikea, um, one of the funny things about Ikea is sometimes when you get home with a piece of Ikea furniture, it's hard, it's hard to put it together. Um, it's hard to follow the instructions. Okay, number two. I'll just keep this one here for a little bit. Three, two, one, and then I'll flip it. This is Disney. Um, so a long time ago, an American named Walt Disney started a film company where they created uh, animated cartoons, uh, and it was called Disney. So Disney makes uh, almost, I would say, three or four films a year. Uh, don't quote me on that. You will need to look it up. Uh, but this is a company that makes mostly children's shows. Uh, Vitaly got that one back on top. Uh, Disney. So this is the Disney Corporation. Some of you may have heard of Disney World or Disneyland. I know there's uh, different theme parks based on the world of Disney. 
If you don't get this next one, <laughs> then we would say in English, you don't get out much, okay? So if you don't get this next one, um, that would be a surprise to me. It's gonna be a matter of who can type it the most, qu the, <laughs> the quickest. So three, two, one, and then I'll pull it down. So this is McDonald's. I'm not gonna disqualify anyone if they don't spell it correctly, um, but McDonald's, is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, fast food restaurants in the world. Um, so we have R. Kim with McDonald's, spelled correctly. We have Learn English with Mickey D's. That's kind of a nickname for it. Sometimes we go to Mickey D's. I know in French, uh, in Quebec, they called it McDo's. Um, so, but anyways, <laughs> Panthera Nori says no idea and then kind of a funny face. So yes, this is definitely the fast food restaurant McDonald's, uh, sell, which sells all kinds of food, but mostly hamburgers is their biggest um, menu item for sure. Um, and then let's do a couple more and we'll flip the chat back on. So this is... I'm just gonna say it, this is another luxury car brand that Bob the Canadian will not be buying. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes, Panthera, I knew that you were, I, I was pretty sure you were joking. Uh, this is Mercedes-Benz, okay? So Mercedes-Benz makes uh, luxury cars as well. Um, there are actually quite a few uh, BMWs and Mercedes-Benz cars on the road in Canada. Um, by the way, we also call uh, BMWs Beamers sometimes, but Mercedes-Benz is another, I believe, another German car manufacturer. I guess Germans uh, are really good at building cars. Good job. Anyone from Germany, thanks for building really good cars. And we'll do, I forget, I lost count. We'll do one more and we'll flip the chat back on. So um, I'll give you three seconds on this. Three, two, three one this is toyota so we have now gone uh, to japan finally for a car manufacturer toyota is a large japanese car manufacturer they make really really good cars um, there are a lot of um, cars made by uh, toyota in canada 100 percent very popular car in canada um, i think daniel got the last one for mercedes-benz and i think our Kim got this one. So yes, so uh, Japanese car manufacturer. Um, in fact, the Toyota minivan was very, very popular in Canada. Um, that was a very popular video, uh, vehicle. I almost said video. Okay, give me a sec here. I'm gonna flip uh, the chat back on. If I remember, if I remember how to do that, um, I remembered how to turn it off and we'll let the rest of the world play again. And I do want to thank all of you whose names are in green for being members. Thank you for helping uh, to support me and to support this channel. Um, those of you who uh, are new here though, uh, you should start just by subscribing. It doesn't cost any money to subscribe. I do two live streams a week and I do a new video every Tuesday. This past week, I've been doing more YouTube stories when I go out for my walk. So if you want to experience some of the uh, um, lessons that I do as Bob the Canadian, do subscribe. And if you want to support me, if you want to go one step further, consider clicking the join button below. Here's the next one, people. I think this one was mentioned earlier, just in conversation. Deke Shanch asked a question about this. So three, two, one. This is, of course, Apple. Uh, one of the biggest computer manufacturers and phone manufacturers in the world uh, also now has Apple TV. Um, there are so many things you can buy from this company. And when they build it, uh, they do a really, really good job. I think, I thought Deekshanch got this, but I think, let me go up. I think Ahmed got it, actually. Ahmed, I have to admit... This is probably, when I look at the chat, the most popular brand in terms of people guessing. So good job. Um, Apple, again, is an American company. Lots of American companies. America, is, uh, they just make stuff. They're, they are a good, uh, uh, they are really good at making stuff. Uh, so here's your next one. This is not an American company. Uh, I'll give you three seconds on this. Three, two, one and then I'll flip it. This is a South Korean uh, phone manufacturer and technology company. So Samsung makes uh, a whole range of phones as well as other products. Um, they make uh, 
uh, televisions. I think my television is actually a Samsung as well. Um, so this is a large uh, South Korean. Did I get that right? It is South Korean, right? I'm pretty sure. Is someone here from South Korea? I hope so. Uh, Ahmed got it and then our Kim. But yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a South Korean uh, technology company, Samsung. This next one is, uh, again, I think almost everyone should get this one. We'll see. Um, let me pull this down. Maybe I should show you quick and then put it up. Maybe I should make it harder. So I'll give you just a glimpse and then I'll put it up here. So three, two, one. This is Coca-Cola, or as we like to call this, Coke. Um, so Coca-Cola is a, I, I guess in Canada we would call it a soft drink company. Uh, in other parts of the world you might call it a soda company. Um, uh, they manufacture not just Coca-Cola, which is a soft drink or carbonated beverage, uh, but they make a whole bunch of other uh, products as well. I think Ahmed got this. There's so many people saying Coke or Coca-Cola, it's hard for me to tell. But yes, this is definitely Coca-Cola. Its main competitor, I see someone mentioned Pepsi. Its main competitor is Pepsi, but this is Coca-Cola. Um, I should have made this blurrier. Maybe I should have blurred this more. That might have helped. Um, let me see here. Uh, I should do some questions, but it's more fun to do the quiz. So I'll keep doing the quiz for a bit, and then I'll get to some questions at the end. So three, two... One, this is a company called Microsoft, which uh, was started by Bill Gates um, many, many, many years ago. Um, and uh, it made the Windows operating system. So this computer behind me is running Windows 10. Okay, that's Windows 10. That is made by Microsoft. So I think some people are guessing Microsoft, Ahmed, our Kim, Microsoft, yes. Windows or Microsoft. So um, Microsoft is known mostly for its product Windows. Okay. Now I'm not sure how worldwide this one has gone. I'm not sure how popular this company is. Um, it's certainly very popular in North America, uh, in Europe, uh, and in some parts of the... Oh, can you see it? Sorry, I just covered it up. So I'm making this quiz way too easy for some of you. Uh, this is Amazon. So Amazon is a large company that you uh, can buy eBooks from, uh, that you can buy almost anything from. So I know that in our house, there are many things that we bought uh, from Amazon. Uh, you can buy, um, you could buy books, you can buy computers, you can buy frying pans, you could buy almost anything uh, from Amazon. I think Ahmed got it, Vitaly got second. Uh, but Amazon is a large online store. That's probably the best way to describe it. Uh, and you can buy almost anything from Amazon right now. Like it is, it is really, really, uh, really, really easy. Uh, Gleb says somebody's cheating. There is a way to cheat at this. I'm not going to tell you how, um, but uh, there is a small little technical trick that you could do where you might be able to see the live stream a few seconds earlier than everyone. I hope nobody's cheating because this is just for fun. Um, but some of you, maybe you are. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Uh, so this is a large multicolored G. And this is from one of the biggest companies in the world. In fact, if this company didn't exist, we would not be having this large live lesson right now. This is Google. Uh, so Google started uh, by building a search engine. So when you go to Google, you can search for things on the internet. Uh, but then they also started to expand and uh, develop a lot of other products. So Google Drive, Google Classroom, um, Gmail, YouTube. There's just so many products that this company uh, makes and owns. Um, let's see who got this. I think someone with a name that I can't pronounce that starts with a B uh, got this one. Second place to Roy. A little bit, few misspellings there, but Google. Definitely. Um, and then this one's kind of related a little bit. Um, once again, if this company didn't exist, um, then we would not be having this lesson right now, or we would be doing it uh, certainly in a different way. So this is, of course, 
the symbol for YouTube. So I use a bunch of words there. This is the trademark, the logo, the symbol for YouTube. So uh, YouTube is a cool platform where you can watch videos on your computer or on your phone. Uh, by the way, I did do a video earlier this week. Um, I'm just linking it in the chat right now uh, about how to use YouTube uh, to, whoa, that went by really fast. <laughs> I think I typed it in at the wrong time. Um, I'm actually not sure I can do it this quickly again. But anyways, if you look in the chat, scroll back, there's a link to uh, a video that I did uh, recently uh, about how to use YouTube to learn English. Uh, I think it worked really well. Um, so here's the next one, uh, nice and blurry. I'm not sure how popular this is in your country. Um, and I'll give you three seconds here, three, two, one. This is a company called Supreme. Uh, they make clothing, they make skateboarding outfits. Um, they're an American company. They have recently become more of a luxury brand, um, but Supreme is something that you will see. Uh, people who have money to spend on clothing uh, will most likely buy clothing from this company. It's, it's a newer company, uh, but it's certainly getting a lot more popular in North America for sure. Um, let me do a few questions. I've been neglecting the questions, even though um, there aren't a lot of questions today. Uh, but let me just do a few to get them out of the way. Nori says, hi, Teacher Bob, how are you doing? How would you call the competitors between brands with the same product? You would call them competitors, yes. So Pepsi and Coke, they are competitors. Um, Ferrari and Lamborghini are competitors. Well, I guess they make the same product. But people who like Ferrari buy Ferrari. People who like Lamborghini buy Lamborghini. So um, next question is from Inspector Bikini. <laughs> Thank you for your lessons. You print so many pictures for your lessons. Why don't you use any devices to show pictures? I should do that someday. Um, but for now, it's easier to hold up pictures. And I avoid having any technical problems because I know the picture will work but I know if I try to use technology, it might not work. So it is a low tech solution uh, for this. Uh, next question from Ruslan says, uh, hi, teach hello, teacher Bob, no question this time, just best wishes from Russia, stay healthy. Thank you very much. Uh, Tracy has the next question. Tracy says, hi, Bob, what do you think the differences between famous brand and no name brand are? What makes a brand become famous? I don't know, but you're correct. When I go to the store, I can buy a name brand can of soup and I can buy a uh, no name brand of, can of soup. So the name brand would be Campbell's Soup, but then beside it, there's a brand with no name. It just says chicken soup on it. So there's definitely brands uh, and then there are uh, no name brands. So I don't know what makes a brand popular. Here's the next one, folks. This is a big S in the middle of what looks kind of like a circle or a cloud. I'll give you three two, one, there we go. This is Skype. So Skype is a piece of software that you can use on your computer or on your phone to talk to people in different parts of the world. I think Ahmed got that one. So Skype is something that I used extensively when I was practicing my French. Um, I used a website called Preply. There's a link down below um, to Preply. Uh, to find French speakers. You could use Preply uh, to find native English speakers as well. And then using Skype or FaceTime, you can connect with them. So if you do have a bit of money to spend to improve your English, check out Preply. The link's below in the description. Um, you could go on Skype or FaceTime and learn English. It does cost money though. I think I mentioned that three times. I think I already mentioned this one. We'll put it right here. Um, and I'll give you a few seconds to look at this one. Three, two, one. This is Ferrari. So I just talked about Ferrari a little earlier. This is an Italian car manufacturer. So it is a car manufacturer from Italy. Did you hear the difference there? This is an Italian car manufacturer. This is a car manufacturer from Italy. So there's two ways to say that. Um, they make sports cars. They make really, really cool sports cars for sure. I think Daniel got this one. Yes, looks like it. So Ferrari, a couple more here. Give you three seconds on this one. Three, two, one. This is for Xbox. So this is a gaming console that you hook up to your television so that you can play video games. Uh, it is made by Microsoft. Did I get that right? 
All of a sudden I feel like I've forgotten what I'm talking about. Yes, Xbox made by Microsoft. So obviously they make more uh, than just Windows 10. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see if anybody gets this one. Xbox, Vitaly got it. Um, so Xbox, let me just do my research for a sec here. Yes, there's the Xbox made by Microsoft. This one was mentioned before the live stream start. You can see that. <laughs> I'm moving that off the screen. That's not blurry enough. So here's a quick look, and then you have three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. So before the live stream started, someone was talking about KFC. Um, KFC is the uh, restaurant that makes chicken. Uh, it's deep fried chicken. Uh, it's actually this stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. It is an American company, but it is certainly available worldwide now. So KFC uh, is a, a place where we go once a year to KFC and we buy a big bucket of deep fried chicken. Uh, and then we come home and we eat it and then we feel really full afterwards uh, because we usually eat too much. So usually sometime in the middle of the summer, uh, we will go to KFC and we will buy a big bucket of chicken. Uh, this one is a competitor of the one we did just a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago. I'll put that right there. Three, two, one. So this is PlayStation. So again, you can buy an Xbox, you can buy a PlayStation, you can buy a, a Nintendo Switch. There are a number of different consoles, gaming consoles, that you can buy to hook up to your television. So this is uh, the one made by Sony, and it is the PlayStation. Um, I didn't put the word Sony, but this is uh, made by the company Sony. So, uh, excellent. Um, let me jump over to the questions for a sec. Um, let's see. So Saeed says, there's a wide source here in Iran that sell all brand logos for quite a small amount of money. People buy them and stick it to whatever they make. Oh, yes. So there is a lot of counterfeit products or fake products. So let's say you want to buy something made by Gucci. Um, you want to make sure that you buy it from a store that is very respectable. Because if you can buy something made by Gucci from someone on the street or at a market and it's only $20, it's probably not real. It's probably a fake. That's how we talk about that in English. Uh, we would say that it is a fake. Um, Kwazak has the next question. Uh, hey, sir, are you going to make your own logo? No, I'm not going to make my own logo. Uh, I don't plan to do that. Um, I think my logo is, is this. I think it's my face. Um, next question is from Ahmed. Hi, Teacher Bob. Hope you're safe. What is your favorite brand of car or make of car? Yes, not mark. So make of car or brand. Uh, we would probably say make. Thanks in advance. Um, I think I mentioned this during the car lesson. My favorite kind of car is one with low kilometers and a low price used. So I like to buy my cars secondhand. I like to buy used cars. I like them to have very low kilometers and I like them to be really cheap. Um, let's see here. Um, So Felipe from Brazil, hello Bob, I'm so grateful that you make videos, it's been really helpful. Please say hello to my friend Fabio, hello Fabio. Uh, the company's brand name he works at is called Guiborn. Guiborn, yeah, I'm not familiar with that, I will have to look it up later. Let's see here. Is, uh... So Layla says, hi teacher Bob, my confusing question is why we always mention brand when we talk about something new, it's brand new, it's a brand new car, uh, the other day I got a brand new mug. The other day I got a brand new hat. I, I'm not sure why we put the word brand in front, but it just means that it is completely new. If you just bought something today and it's the first time you're wearing it, you would say it is brand new, okay? So another way to say it is, um, hey, is that hat brand new? And you could respond by saying, no, I got it about three, four weeks ago. So it's not something I just bought today. Uh, but it's definitely something very recent. Um, Abel says, hi, Bob. I know that Tim Hortons is the most popular food company. You know why? Food is different from others. I think Tim Hortons is popular because it was started by a hockey player named Tim Horton. Uh, and they had really cheap coffee and really cheap donuts when they first started. Uh, and they were really tasty and yummy. So it was really good coffee. And they were really good donuts. Um, 
So I think it was just popular because of that. It also started right when drive throughs became popular in Canada. Ario Ola, Mr. Bob, Coca-Cola has a good taste. I like it. I like Coca-Cola as well, but I don't drink it very often. Maybe once or twice a year. It's very rare for me to drink Coca-Cola. Ari says, why do people pronounce Louis Vuitton like Louis Vuitton? I'm not sure, but we say Louis Vuitton, Vuitton um, and we say it slightly wrong. So, um, Brent says, I'm so sad all of our Tim Hortons closed down. So Tim Hortons expanded into the United States and it was successful in some parts of the US and not in others. Um, <clears throat> anyways, let's see. Um, I think we're done. I, all of a sudden I realized all of my sheets are gone. It's been, um, have I gone longer than normal? I think I have. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget if you're new here to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications. It's totally free to subscribe uh, and you'll just know when a new video comes out. If you want to support my channel, uh, please consider becoming a member. Uh, it's helpful for me and Jen uh, to earn just a little bit of money from the channel. So thank you very much if you do that. Um, and if you did not watch this past week's video, I'm linking all of this stuff in the chat right now. Um, take a moment to go watch this past week's video. Um, there's probably a lot of things you know about using YouTube to learn English, but there might be one or two things in my video that you didn't know that might be helpful. So follow that link, uh, go and have a watch. Do we say that? Go and, go and watch the video if you have time. I'm Bob the Canadian, thanks for watching. Don't forget, this video will have English subtitles in a few hours, or at least by tomorrow. If there were parts that you did not understand, come back tomorrow or the next day and watch that five or 10 minute segment with the English subtitles on. That can really, really help you a lot. Anyways, it was fun. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks to Dave and Todd. Uh, I'm gonna thank them in the chat right now. Oh, maybe Dave's not here. Todd's here. Um, I thought Dave was here. Let me check. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe Dave's not here today. I thought he was. That means Todd was probably busy. Anyways, thanks to Todd. Thanks to Dave if you were here for a bit. Uh, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow with another Q&A live stream. Have a great